Dear students, now I am going to cover the second parasitic helminthus. So I have already covered the first parasitic helminthus, Ancylostoma. So second helminthus is the Bacheria bancrofti. It is also named as the filarial worm. It has two host, mosquito and human being. Bacheria bancrofti. It is also named as the filarial worm. The worm inhabits the lymph vessels and lymphatics. It is ovoviviparous, X dollop into microfilaria larva, which can be seen in the blood. The long thread like body tapering at both the ends, hind end sharply curved ventrally. Male is smaller than the female and has two unequal pineal spicules. Mouth lacks the lips and pharynx is without bulb. So its characteristics are just resembling to that of the ancylostoma. Life history. In its life history, it has two hosts, definitive host which may be the men and intermediate host which are the mosquitoes of species Culex, Anopheles and Aedes. In its life history, as it is ovoviviparous, so ovoviviparous eggs develop into microfilaria larva and the mosquito inject egg shells into the healthy person. So here it is the embryo which is egg shell and forming the sheath microfilaria larva. So it enters into the lymph glands and into the blood vessels of the thorax and then sucked by the mosquito and then enter into the midgut of the mosquito and there they shed the sheath and enters into the gut wall and into the thoracic muscles where it undergoes the process of metamorphosis. So you can see how the infective stage is injected by the mosquito to the human being. So short sausage shaped organism is formed after metamorphosis which undergoes the molting and here tail disappears and intestine is well defined now. Then after 10 days it undergoes the second molt and thread like third stage larva is formed which is the infective stage. Then this infective stage larva migrates to the proboscis sheath and mouth parts of the mosquito. Then this mosquito inject the larva to the healthy person. So last two molds that takes place in the blood and lymph vessels of the human being. So in the lymph glands it becomes adult in one year and after mating sheath microfilaria larva are released. So two molds takes place in the mosquito and last two molds takes place in the man. So let us understand its life history with the help of this diagram. So as it has the two hosts. Mosquito which is the secondary host and human being which is the primary host. So infective stage is the microfilaria which are inoculated by the bite of the mosquito to the human being. Then in the human being they will mature or will become male and female and after mating they form the sheet microfilaria and these sheet microfilaria larva are ingested by the mosquito again when mosquito bite the infected person then in the mosquito these undergo the process of metamorphosis and will change into the sausage shaped larva then this sausage shaped larva after the molting will change into the third stage larva and this third stage larva then migrate to the head and the mouth parts of the mosquito. Again mosquito takes the blood and inject the, these infective stages to the human being. Pathogenicity, it causes the disease elephantiasis or bancrofti filiasis. So blocks the lymph glands, accumulation of lymph, enlargement of organs, Enormous swelling of the affected parts, mainly arms, legs, scrotum, mammae, etc. So you can see that how this spread is by the bite of the mosquito 
and when the person is infected with this parasite the swelling of that part will occur mode of infection is inoculative method through the bite of mosquito transmitting agent female mosquitoes culex aedes and anopheles infective form is the third stage larva portal of entry is the skin site of localization are the lymphatic system and incubation period is 1 to 2 years and third stage infective larva grows to the adult form prevention protection from mosquito bite use of mosquito repellent and controlling the breeding of mosquitoes so we can prevent ourselves from the infection of this parasite by controlling the breeding of mosquito thanks